Hey there guys, this is Keyvids doing a playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red. And this is just the intro showing all the tutorials and stuff. Hey look, there's Professor Oak. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People have actually come to me as Pokemon Professor. Yeah, that's awesome. This world is inhabited by far away, but creatures called Pokemon. Gee, I wonder why the, the name of the game is called Pokemon. He studies in that profession. First, tell me a little about yourself. Okay. I'm a boy. Just to let you know. <clears throat> it's like if you get that already. And I'm going to actually use my real name in this one. I'm going to use Eric. I couldn't figure out what the select button was on this computer, so I just had to do it that way. E R I C. Okay. Right, so your name is Eric? Yeah, I love how it doesn't even ask a question, it just puts a period. Oh god, he. Professor Oak forgot his own grandson's name. That is fail. So we'll just call him Gary. Just for old time's sake. Stop screaming at me! Real world, the world of dreams and Pokemon, blah 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 blah. I get really small. I'm sorry for this being really pixelized, but it'll have to do. I just cut the random part of where I edit the speed of the text. Go to the computer, go withdraw an item, there's a potion in there. So now let's head downstairs. Noticing the text is quite much faster. Yes, that was really bad English. Oh, she saw How to Raise Boys on TV, really? Okay, Professor Oak lives next door. Yep, it's Gary's house. Now we go inside, and there's some random girl sitting there, okay? I'm assuming relative of them, but... I love how the older man does not even own the house. It's Gary that owns the house. Okay, so let's go out into this tall grass here. Let's see. Maybe I can catch a Pokemon. What? Oak, why are you trying to stop me? So he's gonna come over. It's unsafe while Pokemon live in the grass. You need own Pokemon for your own protection. That's great. Okay, so he brings you to he brings him to lab and who else is there? Gary. Grims, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh yeah, that's right. I just fully come by. Now wait. I was a serious Pokemon trader, but in my old age, I only have these three left. What happened to the rest of them? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. Like, he he chooses me over his own grandson. Okay, first you have Bulbasaur. Second over here you have Squirtle. And the third one here is Charmander. I'm deciding to go with Bulbasaur this time around. Because I've used Charmander before and Squirtle in my leaf in my actual Leaf Green game. So I got the Bulbasaur. I don't want to give it a nickname just yet. Now Gary will choose the Pokemon that's opposite of whatever you choose. So basically, if you chose Bulbasaur, he'll choose Charmander, Charmander, Squirtle. And if you chose Squirtle, he'll choose Bulbasaur. So let's check out my Bulbasaur. Modest Nature. Pretty nice stats. It'll do. And... I go out and, oh, Gary wants to battle. Awesome. So you get into this, this battle with Gary. Random trainer sprite just like holding out that Pokeball. It's like it's the only one that he has. So he sends out his Charmander. Oh, for Pete's sake, all this up push you. Eric, you have never had a Pokemon battle before. Yes, I have. I wouldn't be doing this if I hadn't. <laughs> Try battling and see for yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to tackle this thing. Hopefully, I'll survive. Oh, reflecting fell on the damage is key to any battle. How else are you going to get its HP down to zero? Just going to stare at it and hope that it hurts itself? Okay, so this is just going to be a tackle scratch battle. Scratch. The thing that concerns me, it could 5 HKO me. I think for me, it might take 6. So I have to use the potion. Sad to say. 
Okay, we know that this is the list of Pokemon. I'm going to use the item, yes. Okay. Now it's gonna like highlight the little box and he's gonna say if it will feign if it drops to zero. Of course. So then you just get tackle. And it says huge growl, that concerns me because I don't know if it'll take two more hits or just one. But it only takes one, and the critical hit at the end just for reassurance. And Bulbasaur gains 16 experience points, grows to level 6. Does a really awesome job. And I defeated Gary. He picked the wrong Pokemon. Oh my god. And I got 80 Poke Dollars for winning. I will battle other trainers and make my Pokemon strong. Smell you later. I don't want to smell you later. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna head out to Route 1. So, with my very first Pokemon, which is Bulbasaur. And we're heading out to the grass. We get to this patch, and we have our first wild encounter. And it's a level 2 Rattata. Probably the one of the weakest Pokemon I know of. It's. Its attack is okay, and it has a lot of good same type attack moves, but in general, it's not a good Pokemon to choose. I wouldn't recommend it. The other Pokemon you can find on this route is Pidgey. Also, don't recommend it. But Bulbasaur defeated easily, gained 16 experience points. Now, if you talk to this guy here, he's going to give you a free potion. Please visit us in Birdie so City. That's where we're headed right now. Okay, I'm gonna cut to the Viridian City. We're back in Viridian City now. And I'm gonna visit Pokemon Center. I'm gonna cut this too. Okay, we're out of the Pokemon Center and we're going to head to this little area here. Not really anything to do there. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go north and there's a random guy lying there. Okay, is he like taking a nap or is he like dead or what? He doesn't look to be moving, so. Actually, we're going to talk to the lady. Okay, so has that his coffee yet? Are you sure he's alive? I absolutely forbid you for going. Oh my god, the talking dead! Okay, and this, this right here is the gym, which we can't access yet. We'll be going there a little later. Actually, a lot later in the game. Okay, well, now we go to the Pokemon. Okay, we're going to stop over here. Hey, you coming from Palatown? Yeah, I did. Who's asking? So you get Oak's parcel, and you're gonna bring it back to him. Okay, so you're gonna exit out, and I'm just gonna cut to where I get back to Palatown. So hope so. I'll see you guys there. And we're back in Palatown, and I'm gonna save the giving you the parcel for the next episode so thanks guys this has been king of Eds.